My name is Bridge Shivan Doshi. My question is, can kitchen waste produce gas that we can use for cooking, fueling, and generate electricity? As unbelievable as it sounds, kitchen waste actually can produce this useful gas. It is called biogas. And despite doing all this research, I'm still not convinced that garbage can produce such useful gas. So let's test it. To test whether kitchen waste actually produce gas, I have set three bottles here. In bottle A, I have leftover rice and bread. In bottle B, I have fruits and vegetable peels that we have, that my mom has blended into a yucky shake to fit inside the bottle. And bottle C is the control which has nothing inside. And to act to and to test whether the, the kitchen waste actually produces gas, I have put balloons on top to see whether they inflate. And if they inflate, that means the kitchen waste actually has produced gas. So in three days, I'll get back to you with the results. It's three days into the future. So on day one, bottle A and B inflated slightly and bottle C did not inflate. On day two, bottle A and B balloon inflated a little bit more and bottle C balloon did not inflate at all. Day 3, the balloon on bottle A and B inflated a lot more and bottle C's balloon still did not inflate. By studying the data that I collected, my hypothesis, balloons on bottle A and B actually inflated. So therefore, I can safely conclude that kitchen waste actually produces biogas. Now, we can use this renewable energy that will never exhaust. So keep your garbage safe. Bye! Hello, Bridge Shivian Doshi. My name is Mr. Oon. I'm from Aspiration International Secondary School and I teach Physics and Chemistry. Thank you for participating in Sasa 20. I enjoyed watching your video. It is a very interesting experiment, I must say, on a very interesting topic. Microorganisms decompose organic material or kitchen waste as you call it and produces biogas in the process. Yes, you are right. Biogas is a useful and renewable energy and we have not exploited this renewable energy to its fullest potential. Well done, Bridge! We have a few comments to help you improve in your procedure. You had A. Leftover rice and bread B. Fruit and vegetables and C. Your control were you testing for the more effective type of kitchen waste because you have bottle A and bottle B? I think you just plan to check if kitchen waste does actually produce gas but you can bring your experiment further to show the viewers which organic material produces more biogas. Also, it would be helpful if the amount of kitchen waste material was the same we could see the amount of material in B is way more than A. And perhaps your control should be filled up with the same amount of water instead of just leaving it empty. So you have the same amount of liquid in A, B and C. That would have been better. And when you were displaying your results, you had the bottles in different positions. It was A, C and then B. It would have been more helpful if the positions were consistent A, B and C. 
Overall, it was a great effort and we are very happy to receive your entry. All the best and may you be the next scientist of AISS.